I think, yeah, we were talking about the NFL draft, how the yeah. Giants did in the draft. Um, can, we, I, can I interject right there, by the way? Yeah, for sure. They should not have taken Barkley at two. Really? Especially with Baker Mayfield going one. That was not smart. Really? You think When's like- the next time they're going to pick in the top three? Oh, that's... When's the next time they're going to be that bad? Everything lined up. Mm. Everything lined up for them to go get Darnold. Like, that's true. everything was there for them. But, I mean, I just don't under... I, I'm glad they didn't because now they got to figure it out after Eli's done. So, so if the if the Browns took Sam Darnold, then it yeah, would be okay. Bar- I mean, I, in my opinion, I think you take Bar... I, right. Like, if, if Darnold goes one, I understand that. If you're not really sold on anybody else... There's no way the Giants didn't think that. I mean, Sam Darnold was the guy. Yeah. He was the guy. And I think that having him behind a two-time Super Bowl MVP quarterback would have been ginormous for them. I think that would have been huge. But I think if they made the, the win-now move, mm. and I think that they – I think they, I don't know when they're going to pick in the top three again. That's a good You know, good Like, point. when are they going to pick there again? That's true. They yeah. could have traded – I mean, they even could have traded down to five – uh, to Denver, Denver could have had Chubb there. They could have done anything with the pick. I don't think the running back was the right choice. Not because he's not going to be good. I just right. don't like. They might not ever get in the top three again for years. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do? Who's who's going to be your guy? Eli's got two, three years left That's in a true. division with Carson Wentz in it. You're going to have to have a, a quarterback. You're going to need somebody. Mm. So when when uh, Mayfield went one, and they didn't take Sam Darnold, I thought that was a big mistake. Hmm. I understand why they took Barkley. I get it because he's he was the best player in the draft. I don't think that he was the right pick for them. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I think that. Uh, I mean, I, I I thought it was a good pick picking Barkley, um, but I mean, I'm, I'm looking at more of like the Browns' perspective where they shouldn't have taken Baker Mayfield number that's one. True. Yeah, but they could have taken. They could have had Barkley and Mayfield if they just would have taken they, Barkley they one and four. Yeah, they definitely could have. Yeah. Um, and then in that case, if that were to happen, that the Browns did take Saquon Barkley, then yes, the Giants yeah. take Sam Darnold. I don't know, man. It's it's they haven't had a run game since like that whole duo with Ahmad Bradshaw, Brandon Jacobs. Yeah. Um, but he, but he, but that was a duo. So like, but even that point is, how much is one guy gonna? Ch- how much is a running back gonna change your franchise? Well, I was actually going into what I was gonna say, um, reading up a stat. Um, Nate Burleson of NFL Network, when I was talking to Michael about this, um, he said that whoever is in the top five in total scrimmage yards for the running backs, like yeah. their receivers in the top three in receiving yards that year. Yeah, um, it awesome. happened with DeAndre Hopkins and Lamar Miller. Yeah. I think it was like two years ago or, or last year. Happens all the time with Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown. And uh, Odell... He gets like 1,200, 1,300 receiving yards. And last year, the running game only got like 800 yards total. Yeah. Um, and two years ago, it was like around that 700, 800 yards. So yeah. imagine if like Saquon Barkley can, now can get like 1,200, 1,300 yards. What's Odell's potential? Well, I understand that. But think about like, think about is the value of Barkley at two better than getting someone else in the fourth round? That's like, true. that's the question is like, because last year, Alvin Kamara was the best rookie running back. He went in third round. Oh, yeah. no, Kareem Hunt was, I, I think, the best running back. Kareem Hunt, the, yeah. He's third round pick, right? Yeah. So at Fournette, taken at four by the Jags, he's great. Is his value that much more than taking Kareem Hunt in the third round? That's a good Cause point. Because if it's not, then why do you take a running back that high? I think that's the thing with, like, hmm. taking a running back. No one's saying that Barkley's – I don't think Barkley was a bad – pick as in he's going to be a bust Mm -hmm. i just don't know if the value for what that does for your team is worth taking it above a guy who could be your quarterback for 15 years especially when eli is like two years away from retiring 